Now, let me give you three steps to personal development. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. What does it take to really make the changes starting tomorrow? Discipline. Major step to human progress. Discipline. Get excited over your ability to make yourself do the necessary things. What could you make yourself do starting tomorrow that would change it all? On any given day, you can massively change the direction of your life. Now, here's the key to discipline. Start with the little disciplines, get excited over the little disciplines, and get right on those because those will lead to the big ones. You can't handle the big challenges in life unless you take on the little ones. Make a list of all the things you can do, get right on those, discipline yourself for those, both for the results and for the muscle and for the practice. So that when life hands you some big challenges, you'll be ready, you'll have the muscle. But see, if you don't handle the small ones, you can't take care of the big ones. Here's what else it takes for life change. Self-motivation. Key phrase, self-motivation. I don't know why we call it self-motivation. It's really the only kind there is. You've got to motivate yourself. Because I found out you can't change people. They can change themselves, but you can't change them. Lord knows some I've tried. People have to change themselves. So it takes self-motivation to really alter your life. And you don't want to give self-motivation away to somebody else and make it somebody else motivating you. If you wish to be successful, study success. If you wish to be happy, study happiness. If you wish to be wealthy, study wealth. Don't leave it to chance. Make it a study. Some people just go through the day with their fingers crossed. See, that won't do it. You've got to study the things that can change your economic, social, spiritual, personal life. You may not be able to do all you find out, but you should find out all you can do. See, you don't want to wind up at the end of your life and discover that you've lived only one-tenth of it. And the other nine-tenths went down the drain. Not for lack of opportunity, for lack of information. All of the successful people I know and work with around the world, they're all good readers. Curiosity drives them to read. They got to know. They just read, 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 read. Become a good reader. One way to learn is from your own experiences. But another way to learn is from other people's experiences. See, one book might save you five years if you read. Did you know there's books on how to be stronger, more decisive, be a speaker, be a leader, have a better effect on other people, develop your personality. Did you know there's books on that and people don't read them? Did you know that hundreds of successful people have written their stories in books and they wrote down how they did it and people don't read it? How would you explain that? The guy's busy, I guess. You know, you get tied up. The guy says, well, yeah, you work where I work, but the time you struggle home, it's late. You got to eat a bite of supper, watch a little TV, get to bed. You can't sit up half the night reading, 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 and the guy's behind on his car payment. Good worker, hard worker, sincere, but you got to be better than sincere and work hard. Otherwise, at the end of your life, you'll wind up cold, stony broke. You got to be better than a good worker. You got to be a good reader.